tutorial type video today on shooting not only a PFS but shooting butterfly. Now for those who don't know a pickle fork is a type of slingshot that is a true pickle fork. Now there's lots of PFS style slingshots but a true PFS is 60 millimeters wide overall or less with a 12 millimeter or less gap. Now you get to a no gap that's a flat top which is, you know, more or less the same thing. But there's lots of PFS style frames that might be, you know, 65, 70 mil wide and have, um, you know, a 13 millimeter gap or a 14 millimeter gap. But anything that you, this, it's, this, the shooting technique's the same. Anything that you have to shoot, the way you shoot a pickle fork is a PFS, basically. Um, so, with that in mind, the way you normally shoot a slingshot is you hold the ammo in the pouch and creates that gap for the ammo to fly straight. Now, when you're shooting a pickle fork, you do what you're not supposed to do with a regular slingshot, and that is you pinch in front of the ammo to create a speed bump effect to jump the forks since there is no gap. Now, um, I have a video on shooting a pickle fork with a short draw technique. You can go watch that. But this is for the butterfly people. <clears throat> butterfly, albatross, uh, condor, whatever you want to call it, um, is any style, and this is my definition, that butterfly shooting is any shooting style where you draw the bands past your face and head and use a floating anchor all right this would be a semi butterfly draw this would be a three-quarter butterfly draw and this is a full both arms fully extended this is a full butterfly draw there's lots of different ways of doing a full butterfly draw I tend to prefer the palm out draw where you place your thumb on the bottom, your index finger on the top, grip in front of the ammo, and then your palm faces out. That's how I like to do it. Um, you can also do it with your thumb on top of the ammo, like so. I know some people that do it that way. Um, <clears throat> but the trick is, is to not shoot yourself in the face when you're shooting butterfly. And there's a little bit of a technique to that I've got a 80 mil spinner up down there. I don't, I don't know. I'm at 12, 13 yards, something like that. But the trick to it is to move your, move the bands away from your face as you release, and that keeps you from getting called what what we in the community call a butterfly kiss. That's when the pouch hits your face. But to draw, to draw this, you grip in front of the ammo. <clears throat> and I draw down where if the bands break, they go down, they don't go out to hit somebody, they go down toward the ground. But draw down and out, bring your bands up to your floating anchor, sight down the bands like you would with a regular frame, And just like with a regular frame, you can miss as I just did, but. <clears throat> um, some of the advantages to shooting butterfly style are the increase of speed and power for a lot less draw weight. Um, I'm shooting eight millimeter steel with a 1510 of Sobong 0.5 green 
and um, it's got a 13 inch active and I've got a 76 inch butterfly draw. You do the math. I hadn't done it to see what the max elongation, to see what the elongation factor is. Um, all I know is it's moving and it's moving fast. Um, I'd say I'm probably somewhere around the 290 to 300 feet per second mark with this. Um, got a little bit of hand slap, but it's not, you know, it's nothing that's unbearable. It's totally, it's fine. Um, but the draw on this is very, very easy. It's just, I'd be willing to bet it's under five pounds. Versus a short draw setup of the same material um, same taper would, uh, and same elongation would probably be somewhere in the neighborhood of, you know, of five pounds. This is probably about three and a half pounds draw weight. Um, I don't know for sure. I've got a draw weight tester at home, but I've not tested the draw weight. But <clears throat> the, what I really, really like about Butterfly is the speed. <laughs> crazy dogs, is the speed and power you get for a lot less draw weight. Some of the disadvantages of it are, of course, the draw length. Having to, to draw with both arms fully extended versus drawing just to right here. Well, yeah. So, right, there's something in the woods. Oh, Winifred came down here. <laughs> We've got three dogs. Those of you that have been here know that you know them. But anyway, that's just a little bit about shooting a pickle fork and shooting butterfly and how to do it. Just be sure when you go, when you go to shoot butterfly, and there they all three are. Grip in front of the ammo, and you're going to twist the pouch, whereas you would. With short draw, you would normally do this. You know, you grip the grip the ammo and you draw back to your anchor point with a pickle fork, you grip in front of the ammo and you twist the pouch to get the and that gives you that see I can do it short draw. That gives you that speed bump effect to clear the forks. Um, and with butterfly style, that happens naturally. If you're if you're shooting full butterfly, unless you're unless you're drawing straight back like this with a full butterfly draw and can actually hold the ammo, then you're automatically um, twisting and speed bumping the pouch. So pull back, let it go, and have fun shooting. Thanks for watching.